What's up, YouTube? It's Grant Daddy. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I've got a theater mode tutorial for you on Black Ops 2, so you don't waste your time. Here's the three points I'm kind of going to be hitting on. Uh, attach the camera to objects, using the dolly cam, just the basics, and name and upload your clip to theater mode. Uh, I know a couple of you have been asking about if it's okay to send me your short clip Saturday films through Xbox, um, and that's fine. And how you'll do that is you'll create the film by the way I'm going to show you. Uh, you'll name it and you'll upload it to theater mode. Uh, you'll send me a message with your gamer tag and the name of the clip that you want to submit. Um, and then that way I can find it and I can upload it to YouTube uh, that way. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off by going to theater mode. And then when we're in theater mode we're going to go to select film. And this is going to bring up um, all your recent games and there's a couple other things down below you guys can cycle through and just mess around with it um, on your own time but for now let's go to find the game that we want to edit and we're gonna edit this domination game right here we're gonna select it and we're gonna wait for it to load I'm gonna fast forward a little bit so you don't have to wait the whole time while it loads um, the one thing I'll tell you is if you just got out of the game and you jump to theater mode to edit it and it's not there it's okay, just be patient. Theater mode runs a little bit behind, so you'll have to wait for it to catch up. Um, so let's go ahead and start the film. And this is actually a good one to start with because I joined this game late. So you'll see theater mode starts me all the way from the beginning of the game before I even joined. So you'll have to fast forward and find, find your guy when you joined. Um, the best way to do that is to hold the right trigger down. And if you look on the control bar, you'll see the right trigger fast forwards, the left trigger rewinds. Um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the one thing I found out the other day is if you hold, if you press select while you're fast forwarding, you can let go of the trigger and it will continue to go fast. So uh, that was pretty cool. I found that out. But uh, we'll fast forward here till I find my guy, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I found my guy, and I'm going to show you how to attach the camera to an object. Um, I know if you saw the uh, combat axe montage that I did, some people were asking how I attached the camera to the axe. Uh, this is how I did it. You press Y to take you to free camera, and make sure it's in free roam mode. Uh, and you'll see the combat axe is highlighted green. When that happens, you press the right joystick in and it will actually attach to the object <clears throat> and stay with it. So you can attach to, I think, pretty much any object that's movable. Um, I'll show you a combat axe, and here I did a care package helicopter. So uh, you guys can try it out and see what else you can attach to. But when you're ready to detach, you just do the same thing. You press the right, joy right joystick in, and it will detach from the camera. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to um, edit your clip out of the film and actually upload it and save it to theater mode. Um, I recommend when you find your footage that you watch it uh, all the way through in real time uh, before you record. Uh, and once you realize that you've got the coolest clip ever, you want to go ahead and back up by using the left trigger and find a good starting point, point for the film. Um, and I also recommend playing hit play before you hit record that makes sense. If you hit record and then hit play, you'll have that short kind of awkward pause at the beginning of your video. Uh, if you want it to kind of flow smooth, press play and then hit record. Uh, when you're done, you just hit record again and it will stop. And you want to auto name and save the clip. All right, so now that you've auto named and saved your first clip, you'll want to back up the footage and get out of first person and jump over to free camera mode. Um, and you can Look on the control panel until it says edit camera mode by hitting the right bump button. Um, and this is going to be taking advantage of the dolly cam. What the dolly cam is, is a bunch of edited cameras in a sequence. Um, and you can go through in edit camera mode and place cameras down by pressing the right joystick in. Um, and you can also go through and edit the speed using that and that's pretty much what dolly cam is it takes advantage of just a real smooth footage real real smooth shot um, that you probably wouldn't get free-handed so um, dolly cam definitely takes some practice uh, you can mess around with it and um, 
just kind of see what you can come up with. If all else fails, you can go and highlight over a camera, press the right joystick in, and remove all the cameras you've placed down so far, uh, and start all the way over. Uh, and you'll see that each camera I lay down is numbered one, two, three, four, and they're all in a sequence with that line. Um, so that'll give you kind of some guidelines as to where you're at in the scene. Uh, but again, the more you use it, the better you'll get, so don't get frustrated. Uh, just be patient. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to use, but when you really get it down, you can make a, a really good shot. Um, so right now we're going to go to dolly cam. We've laid all our we laid all our cameras down, so we're going to uh, use the right bump to jump over to dolly camera mode, and we're going to press play, and we're going to watch it in real time. Uh, and you'll just see how smooth the camera moves around. Uh, and you can, I mean, if, if you don't want to mess with the dolly cam right now, you can you can do this in free roam mode as well. Uh, it's just not going to be as smooth. Um, so everything looks good. And what we're going to do now is jump back to edit camera mode. And we're going to go around and go to camera two here. And we're going to slow this down. So you press the right joystick in. And you can see I'm changing the speed and I'm making it uh, a lot slower. I'm going to do the same with camera three. And we'll go over and do camera four as well. All right, so I've got my speed right. Now we're going to just double check and make sure that everything looks good. All right, so I'm happy with that. So the next thing we're going to do is we actually have to record this now. So you be in, just make sure you're in dolly camera. And... Whenever you are ready to record, you just press the record button. I think I'm going to start doing it right about right now. Okay. So I'll record this. And when I'm done, I hit uh, X again, auto name and save clip. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to do for this particular footage. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my timeline editor. You hit start and go to timeline editor. And there's my two clips. Uh, you'll see down there in the bottom it says preview film. So I'll go ahead and watch what it's going to look like. And it switches over to dolly cam. Alright, I'm happy with that. So now what we'll do is we will upload it to theater mode. You can see it says upload edited film. And you'll press that, and I believe yeah, my file manager is full, so what i got to do real quick, uh, yours isn't probably full if you have never done this. So let me just go and delete one of these videos. Alright, we'll delete this one. Okay, so now that we have an open slot, you'll want to go up and you can name it. And if you're sending this in for your short clip, uh, Saturday, you'll probably want to name it like Short Clip Saturday or something like that. Uh, but you can name it whatever. Uh, go down to Save, and it should save it for you. And that's pretty much it. You can now leave this particular film. Go to End Film, Leave, and when you go back to Theater Mode, if you go to Select Film, you can scroll down to Edited Films. And it should be the first one there. Yep, this is it. I recommend watching it because sometimes when you record something on theater mode and you upload it, sometimes it gets kind of glitchy. Um, so you can go through and uh, we'll watch it here. Make sure everything's good. And uh, hopefully this was a good tutorial for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I guess I will talk to you guys later.